Travis Wayne Goodsell, part four of LDS prophecies regarding Samson. If I only do Samson, I may have to change the title, but I don't think YouTube lets me change the title. I'd have to cancel the playlist and redo another playlist and put the video in the new playlist. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, I just noticed also, uh, as I'm saving this time rather than uploading to YouTube, uh, I'm getting a jump on this video. Because I saw that the church has put out this morning their latest Book of Mormon video on uh, Alma giving up the throne because there's no heir to succeed him because Alma, the birthright blessing son, was converted and wants to go preach the gospel to the Lamanites. And so uh, Alma gave this whole speech in Mosiah 29 uh, about uh, why he can't just give the, son, uh, the throne to the second in line <laughs> and bringing up King Noah. Now, if you remember the last video I did talking about the Book of Mormon videos that were uploaded in connection with my lawsuit against the church, <laughs> and I said, are they threatening me or are they preparing to flee or both? Because <laughs> they were talking about Abinadi being murdered for his faith. <laughs> or are they talking about them as victims like Al Abinadi when they were King Noah to me? So, yes, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints had me imprisoned in jail, Salt Lake County Jail, where I was tortured and where I was betrayed for. 30 pieces of silver, <laughs> or 30 clothing garments, uh, yeah. so yeah, Samson really hits home with me, I see uh, a lot of my life in Samson, um, but uh, <laughs> uh, and so again, what's going on Friday? The Jewish version of Pentecost. Shabbat. Shabbat. Which uh, the Christian version is on Sunday um, this week. <coughs> and so, uh, yeah, there are different versions depending on the religion. For Christians, uh, Jesus dies and is gone he doesn't save the Jews he doesn't save the house of Israel he doesn't restore the kingdom of David uh, and the throne of Moses's seat if you're familiar with your New Testament and Jesus talking about how the Pharisees all fight for the throne or the throne of Moses I believe that's in Matthew 23 even Uh, he, uh, 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 he nevertheless, uh, according to the authors, gives the kingdom over to Peter. And so Peter, uh, 50 days after the crucifixion, uh, uh, has uh, <coughs> uh, Pentecost, where the Spirit of the Lord comes down, and they all babble incessantly, and Apparently they're able to understand each other. It's not quite clear uh, from what I remember. Um, but uh, you can't just babble without an interpreter. If you don't have a person with a gift of interpretation, it doesn't matter what you babble. And you can claim it from God, okay, but nobody understands you. And, it, and so therefore, your babbling is useless because nobody understands you. 
And no, it is not a, oh, he's babbling, therefore it's from God, and therefore he's a righteous man. No, you gotta have an interpreter to say, no, he's full of it. <laughs> so, um, just a little side note there. But uh, Pentecost for the Jews is when it's tradition. It's not in the scriptures as being 50 days from the uh, Passover uh, where uh, coronavirus struck Egypt and Moses told his people, the Israelites, stay home during coronavirus. Do not leave your homes during coronavirus. on as we have a coronavirus that everybody wants to call fake news and a hoax and drink bleach if you think you've got it take the drug that'll kill you Trump stopped the drug now by the way has he prevented it Do you just take so much for so long and you're cured <laughs> you're immune automatically yeah, Trump is pulling a fast one on everybody. He never took it. He lies. He was trying to get others to take it so they would die. That's what Trump does. He's murdering you guys. So, anyway. I uh, guess the 50 days from the Passover is the traditional understanding uh, as they've assigned to the biblical story, which is not in the biblical story, they've assigned it as a traditional practice and belief. That that's when Moses, in the Sinai Desert, went to the top of a mountain and received the Ten Commandments. And the rest of the law is written in the Torah, the 613 commandments. Uh, and. Uh, 613, right? Not 633? Let me check. <coughs> How many Jewish commandments are there? 613, yeah. So notice 13 again. If you've been paying attention to the other parts in this series, 13. Alright, so it's 667. 6 for 600. 6 plus 7 is 13. 667. Not 666, the number of the beast. 667. <laughs> okay, uh, and so yeah, that's when Moses comes down first. He sees that they're fooling around, dancing naked, getting drunk, and having sex <laughs> around this golden calf that Aaron uh, raised up. And uh, uh, we just had the calf sign on the 22nd, so Friday. Friday we had that sign, and I did the video talking about it and describing the interpretation and so on. So yeah, so, yeah this Friday it's Sabaot, which is Pentecost, uh, which is 50 days, which is the judgment for Israel, the law. And, and if you've also been paying attention, I'm hoping. Judge Oberg, the brand new judge, assigned on the 15th, the week before that, uh, to replace Judge First, who chose to wash her hands of rendering judgment and then quit without giving the orders that Judge uh, Oberg gave on. Thursday, which got mailed to me on uh, this, this is 
talked to on Saturday. And uh, so, yeah, that's why she did it on Thursday, because she most likely took Friday off, being the long weekend. <coughs> and so, since she seems to be following by the book, I'm expecting her to continue to go by the book and render a judgment for me against the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints' Corporation of the President for a some certain of everything. The church has to shut down because her, the church's lawyers were in default. They filed their response late. If you've been paying attention to Judge First, I'm noticing that my chin is falling, falling down on the baseline of the camera view. I'm trying to adjust it because I often lean in, and so I'm trying to center myself. As an artist, I'm trying to frame myself perfectly. Uh, and so, uh, uh, because they were late, they lose. If you noticed in Gaddy versus COP with Kay Birmingham fighting for Gaddy, uh, the church lawyers, who were different lawyers in that case, uh, filed on time and still filed their motion to dismiss. The church lawyers for my case were late and ended up being 24 days late because I filed my reply motion uh, before, uh, well, it, that's what caused the lawyers to then send me my copy. They forgot to deliver me my copy. They were late and they forgot to deliver me my copy and so then they finally sent me my copy uh, which I was on the 23rd, so on the 25th I got it, and, but I counted it on the 23rd, so they were 24 days late, because they finally confessed that they had not filed my copy by sending me my copy. Notice I have not refiled my reply to their 24 days late motion to dismiss that they finally sent to me. I will not acknowledge that filing other than to acknowledge that they are late and are in default and therefore according to the laws of the United States federal court system process they lose. That's by the book. I will not acknowledge any of their motions to dismiss because like them they acknowledged that they were late and instead of 11 days late they then became 24 days late the church has been destroyed Mormons we're just waiting for the judge to give the final order wouldn't it be interesting if it's Friday most likely Thursday if she's taking Fridays off, which is possible, but it's not the uh, Memorial Day weekend this Friday. And so because she's not working today, she may be working on Friday regardless of whether she's going to continue to work on Fridays or not. And so Friday could be, if she's going by the book, week after week, doing orders, we could have a final order this Friday on Pentecost, the Jewish holiday for when Moses receives the judgment for all of Israel from God. <coughs> Swallowed my spit. <coughs> Also, on the 28th, which is Thursday, 
I noticed that Saturn move, retrogrades away from the goat beast constellation of Copernicus. Copernicus? No, that's the that's the Capricorn. Copernicus is the Illuminati scholar. that is mentioned in Twas the Night Before Christmas with the cartoon with the little mice and the one mouse who writes Santa a letter calling him a fake. <laughs> and so Santa doesn't come to give presents that year. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I've, I need to avoid peanuts for a while when I do with these videos because the shell it gets trapped in my esophagus and causes problems as you're witnessing so um, yeah it, Saturn which I've already identified as first way back with first not giving any indication of anything and sure enough Saturn was still by the goat beast mouth uh, for the 15th and for the Second, but this time, this week, Saturn moves away from the goat beast and heads toward Jupiter. So no longer siding with the goat beast church. You do understand that's the symbol of the Mormon church, right? It's all over the temples. I've been posting it for you lately <laughs> and is heading now towards Jupiter so heads up that's why I'm doing these videos with Samson first is because Samson contains a whole ton of stuff for me to talk about and uh, uh, we're going to at least talk about Lehi in this video. I hope we can get to Delilah, but we're already past 17 minutes. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, let's see. It came to pass after the time of the wheat harvest. Remember Jesus speaking in parables? Did parables about wheat and tares? Yeah. This is why. Uh, Samson visited his wife with a kid because remember she betrayed him so he gave him to or gave her to one of his companions and that he said I will go into my wife into the chamber chamber aren't they living in tents <laughs> chambers are for kings they don't even have chambers in the regular uh, homes of the people back then. Uh, so, chamber? <laughs> but her father, remember Samson, as I did in the previous video, uh, two, part two, I think I went over the definition of Samson. One was his father, Manoah, and then Samson was in two. Yeah. So, son king. And his wife, ex-wife, because he divorced her, sent her with the companion to live, because she betrayed him, uh, and gave away his secret parable that he thought he was so clever with. Uh, and uh, so she's got a chamber. Hmm. But her father would not suffer him to go in. You will not see your wife. <laughs> or, yeah, your ex. Uh, her father said, I verily thought that thou hast utterly hated her, therefore I gave her to thy companion. Is not her younger sister fairer than she? I pray thee instead of her. Take her, I pray thee, instead of her. So father is now pulling a Laban 
and saying, I know you marry, want to marry Rachel, uh, but you have to marry the older sister, Leah, first. This is a switch around. He married the older sister, as he's supposed to do for a family, even if he likes the younger sister more. Uh, but in this case, the story was written that Samson liked the older sister. And so now the father is saying, hey, uh, you've married the older sister, marry the younger one. So we're seeing Jacob's story with Rachel and Leah and Laban, the father, coming into play here as a parallel pattern for the prophecy of the last day's Christ. And Samson said concerning them, Now shall I be more blameless than the Philistines? Apparently she had heavenly eyes, but oh those thighs. Seven brides for seven brothers in the song. Bless my beautiful heart, where, bride wherever she may be. <laughs> That's an awesome movie. If you don't have that in your collection, you need to have it in your collection. Uh, so I doubt Amazon would allow you to watch it for free right now. They may be the only source to obtain it, since DVD stores are supposed to be closed if there are any DVD stores left. I heard the Blockbuster video in Oregon, which is the last remaining video rental, is, has opened again. Dum 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 dum. From South Park's Joseph Smith episode. Okay, so this has now been saved. And we'll delay further time on this video as I... Succession Crisis, Part 3, Samson. And there we go. Okay, I guess I should upload it. So we'll take an extra more time. And blah, blah, blah. Elevator music, insert here. Oh my god! Triple stabbing in South Jordan 40 minutes ago. It just keeps escalating. This is the consequences. You have a coronavirus that ravages the nation, forcing everybody to lose their jobs and no longer receive money or sufficient money or delayed money. And so people are struggling for food now. They're getting upset. Domestic violence is on the rise because people have not been raising their kids. They've been passing them off to babysitters, uh, daycare centers, and schools to raise their kids for them. So now they're forced to be with their kids and they have no clue. And their kids are like, you're not my real mom and dad. My teacher is. And the parents are getting domestically violent. And and people are breaking into homes as the one South Jordan guy is uh, thought to have uh, asked the one Mormon, newly young couple married in the temple, Mormon, who owns the landscaping business and the guy said, nope, can't hire you, we have a coronavirus going on. And, and so the guy comes back and shoots him and his wife and he's now in jail as the police finally tortured him sufficiently in the Salt Lake County Jail to get him to confess. And, uh, my hell. Now we have a triple stabbing. Gangs are on the rise in Utah because that's how gangs function. Hey, man, government's not taking care of you. The church isn't taking care of you. We are the only ones who care about you and will take care of you. But you got to do us a favor, though. You gotta show your loyalty to us. Okay. Just so sad. But these are the consequences, guys, and it's gonna get worse. Because the Republicans in the Senate are refusing to pass the next stimulus bill that the House passed. And Trump's gonna veto it anyway if the Senate 
agrees with it, but Mitch McConnell already reapered it, as he called himself the Grim Reaper. All of a sudden, he's back to being the Grim Reaper again. Uh, let's see, what do I put for part three? <coughs> I, I have no idea. I'm trying to do this video, and so I'm not thinking clearly on this one. So let's put the thumbnail of my wedding below the symbol of Lucifer to the gate doorway of the temple. Okay, it's not in that file. There it is. Oh, too big. Uh, so Adobe Photoshop Express. The app version, not the download version, in case you're thinking about it for yourself. The download version is horrifying. Okay. And then we upload it. And then we save it to the different sides. That will be more acceptable for YouTube. Ta-da! All better. Okay. Parable of the Ten Virgins. That was about the wedding feast. Part three was about the wedding feast. Wasn't it? Yeah. Because two was the chop the birth, and one was the pre thing, so. Yes. Yes, Mormons are still siding with the LDS Church as foolish virgins without a reserve oil. Temple doors are, I'm going to say shut, but Nelson has ordered them back open to kill you guys. And the, I, maybe I should put true temple doors. True temple doors are shut for the... Wedding and wedding feast of the bridegroom. There we go. And so, yes, the doors are shut as I <laughs> having my picture taken at the wedding day. <laughs> I was denied by the church to enter their wedding. I didn't want to be a part of it anyway. Alright, so Jewish holiday for three, because we're talking about wedding, uh, succession crisis? No. Yes. No. I can't remember what was in that video. And we're wasting too much time. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going straight down to the one for this series. Where is it? I'll put Lucifer symbol. Um, personal and culture. Coming of Christ. Latter-day, LDS Christ prophecies. There it is. Alright, and there was Paleo-Greek. And there was Paleo-Hebrew. And there was Egyptian. And there was Egyptian. Put that much in. And we'll go to more options to deny all review comments for review. Newest. Invisibility. 
they switched the, invisi the, the visibility things around. I clicked on private the first time around, and I couldn't understand why it didn't have the publish. It still had save. And I was like, what's going on? And so I clicked save, because it finished uploading, and then it said private. I'm like, what the hell? It's because they put it, they rearranged it. Alrighty, here we go. So, it's harvest time for the election that's coming up. And so, interesting, um, yeah, wheat and barley have different harvest times. The barley was for the poor, the wheat was for the rich. And so, uh, harvest would have bread of wheat rather than barley bread because you want nice stuff for your wedding. Uh, so, I need to have this up here so I can scoot up. Alright, so, uh, the first wife's father is pulling a, uh, this is still not Okay, so uh, Samson then accuses the father of trying to get him to be worse than the Philistines, though I do them a displeasure, he says. And so Samson, having a poor impulse control <laughs> in the story, <coughs> went and caught 300 Boxes. So again, uh, when the first wife betrayed him, 30 companions, 30 garments, 30, 30, 30, now 300 foxes, and took firebrands and turned tail to tail and put a firebrand in the midst between the two tails. Remember Malachi talking about the last days? shall burn as an oven. That's what's going on here. It's just instead giving an explanation for the burning with foxes, 300 foxes, with the tails tied together with firebrand. And so he set the brands on fire. He let them go into the standing corn of the Philistines. It's the wheat harvest for him but it's the corn harvest for the Philistines. Those Philistines have corn, we have wheat. And he burnt up both the stalks, and also the standing corn. So apparently the stalk of wheat as well. There's a confusion here in this wording. Uh, and also the standing corn with the vineyards. So there's, he burnt up everything. So, uh, last days, a burning, and olives also. Uh, olives are interesting because Mount Olivet, Mount of Olives, uh, it's used in the Gospels, Jesus, prophecy of the last days Christ really bugging me that I'm not centered. <laughs> and uh, and so, uh, yeah, this is the burning. And what's going on right now with coronavirus? We're having food shortages and food insecurity. As the farmers are destroying their crops that they just planted and destroying the food that was supposed to go to commercial businesses, that all shut down with coronavirus. The uh, essential grocery store market, or farmers, are still providing food for the grocery stores, but if you're not paying attention to the news, meat packing plants around the world are all uh, getting coronavirus, causing big chaos. Uh, and so there, we're going to have food insecurity as meat 
will be poisoned with the not uh, not salamander. Uh, it's the disease for meat. Okay, it's an S. <laughs> Can't think of it right now. It's gonna frustrate me. Uh, but uh, it's coronavirus that it's being infected with, as they have humans working with the meat rather than robots and automated technology to prevent human contact with our food. And so, yeah, he burns it all to the ground. And the Philistines said, who has done this? <laughs> and they answered, Samson, we'll blame him. <laughs> He's always been a troublemaker since we beat him in his little game, having sex with his wife and and notice, she has a child when she was having sex with the Philistines, as Samson accused them of. Similar to Abraham, goes to see Pharaoh, tells his wife, you're my sister, right? And so she gets put into the harem. And again, Samson also, his parents, she's barren. Then this angel appears and says, out of nowhere, you're pregnant after being barren and Mary barren although she was a 14 year old girl so that's why she was barren but Elizabeth her cousin was barren and and, uh, and Sarah was barren and Tamar was barren but her case was how her husbands were dead and dying and so she had to get Judah and the only way to get Judah, she thought, was to pretend to be a prostitute of the... Again, it's not a history, and so it's of the... whatever Philistines or whoever was in charge of Canaan. And so she was a temple worker for them, and, and uh, lured uh, Judah to do the bride price for her. So she finally got a husband after the deaths of all the other brothers of that other family. So that's the Tamar story. And uh, Jim Baker, James Baker, uh, and I uh, helped him to try to push for the church to make the change in the footnotes. But because Bruce R. was the one who labeled Tamar a whore, we couldn't get it changed. Bruce R. McConkey has made numerous errors because he's not as smart as everybody believes he is. Like the building. It's that temple, Bruce. That's the building Samson destroys. And he won't say it because he knows it would be bad to show that it was a temple that Samson destroyed. Okay, and so uh, Samson, and so because he had taken his wife and given her to a companion, and the Philistines came up and burnt the wife and her father with fire. So Samson said unto them, Though ye have done this, yet will I be avenged of you. So when you commit a crime, you have to understand the consequences. People are not going to be happy with you. If you take somebody's life, you better expect people to be angry and want to take your life. So if you think you're going to commit crime and not be held accountable, you're a dumbass. If you're going to steal and think you're not going to be held accountable, you're a dumbass. If you're going to take away somebody's liberty by holding them hostage in some form or fashion, you're a dumbass if you think you're going to get away with it and not be held accountable. There are consequences. You are not above consequences. Trump is not above consequences. What he has done to this nation is seeing the consequences. And though his own loyalists continue to say, Trump is great, we want chocolate cake. If you're... <laughs> Bill Cosby, who's now in prison himself, again, Consequences. 
so understand that. Uh, and after that, I will cease, because that's the law. If somebody has done you wrong, you need to be avenged for compensation. And as certain Utah law lawyers say, you deserve fair compensation. No, I need just compensation. Screw fair. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, okay. And he smote them hip and thigh with a great slaughter. And he went down and dwelt in the top of the rock at Tom. And so, uh, understand that these are not prophecies to be taken literally. They are symbolic prophecies. That all prophecies are symbolic. There are some that will happen literally, like it will be a Mormon who will destroy the LDS Church and restore the kingdom of David and thus restore the true church that Joseph Smith established. But with the details, with foxes, no, he's not going to gather 300 foxes and light America on fire. <laughs> I, in, in Swigheimer's art class in the high school, which I took to avoid AP uh, at, or, uh, elective classes, uh, there was a, a peer in the class who uh, was awesome at drawing dragons. I said, oh, wow, that's awesome. That's a, they were awesome drawings of dragons. And so he then said, oh, it, it's Lucifer, because Revelation says he's a dragon. And so he was drawing dragons, and yes, he literally believed Lucifer is a dragon because he interpreted the book of Revelation literally. That Lucifer is a literal dragon and would come back in the second coming as a dragon uh, to destroy the world. How well is that going? <laughs> Still waiting? We're having the coronavirus. We've had the signs in the heavens, even the ones in Revelation. They gave us a precise date. Still no dragon in the literal sense. Obviously, he was referring to a man who represented the symbolism of a dragon. Just like the beasts. Men symbolizing the beasts. The false prophet, yeah. No mystical creature for that. False prophet. <laughs> okay, so he... He kills them in revenge. And so all of this is part and parcel of the final part of him destroying the temple, Bruce, to conquer the church of the evil empire, the Philistines being here. And so uh, then the Philistines went up and pitched tents in Judah and spread themselves in Lehi. Judah and Lehi are places. Judah is the bigger realm, as the author would have known. Lehi is a township in Judah. Remember your Book of Mormon Mormons? Who did they have start off the Book of Mormon after the 116 pages were destroyed, of course? <laughs> By Martin Harris, not his wife. Yeah. Nephi says, I'm going to do an abridgment of my father first. Then it's all about me. And so, uh, yeah, we have Lehi which just happens to be about Joseph Sr.'s first, or Tree of Life dreams that he had. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. A prophecy, even. <laughs> Surely he would have not written it, rewritten 116 pages to put in his dream 
to fill up space as well as plagiarize the 1769 passages of Isaiah to again fill up space until Sidney Rigdon could catch up and, and provide enough documents to get them going for the, the bridging gap with the words of Mormon to enter into the real Book of Mormon written by Sidney Rigdon. Exactly. I've already done all these videos. But it's not a malicious thing. It's because they're trying... This is really bugging me. <sighs> Alright, so... Uh, Judah. Already went through that in the last one. Uh, Judah is the phonetic equivalent of Utah. So the Philistines are in Utah now. And they went to Lehi. We have an actual city of Lehi. Uh, it's my when my first wife uh, left, uh, she didn't divorce me because Utah requires that she spend a whole year trying to reconcile by going to a family counseling. Uh, that would have been a nightmare. Uh, to make sure that that's what we really want, because it's evil to be divorced in the Mormon Church. And so, even though the wife is abusive, I, I still... Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I was kicked out by my own father. And uh, walked the streets, ended up in Nephi, which was past Lehi. When I finally was picked up by a six-pointed sheriff of the highway patrol, six-pointed star sheriff, uh, who um, restored me back to the home. But I told my parents, don't you dare come after me anymore. You're, you're very mean. And they said, oh, yeah, you know, she confessed that she was the one who was violent. And, and it's like, um, you told me, she told you, and you're still... Uh. Anyway, so yeah, Lehi means jawbone. And uh, Utah is associated, or Judah is associated with Utah. And so, the men of Judah, Mormon, Mormon, Mormon rap, Mormon, Mormon rap, why are ye come up against us? And they said, you're practicing polygamy, we've told you to stop, you're refusing. <laughs> no, that's not in here, but uh, they answered, to bind Samson are we come up to do to him as he hath done to us. Again, retaliation upon retaliation upon retaliation. <laughs> so consequences. If you just do good in the first place, you don't have people coming back at you. But for you to claim being the first um, first blood to say that when people come back at you to retaliate for what you did wrong to them in the first place for you to say hey we're the victims now because you're coming after us Ugh. I've seen Mormons here in Utah cops here in Utah mayors here in Utah attorney generals here in Utah governors here in Utah Mormon leaders bishops, state presidents, 70s presidents, apostles, prophets, do that here in Utah. You are not the victim when you draw first blood. <sighs> and so, yes, it's very interesting that the Book of Mormon video series had their uh, Alma giving up the throne as we are nearing the judgment to find out if Alma must give up his throne. 
for his first blood against me. Uh, let's see. Uh, then 3,000 men of Judah went to the top of the rock of Etam, where Samson was, and said, Samson, knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is this that thou hast done unto us? We're now the victims. And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. He is justified in the law of Moses. And they said unto him, We are come down to bind thee, that we may deliver thee into the hand of the Philistines. And Samson said unto them, Swear unto me that ye will not fall. What the? Um. I just lost my place because my mouse just skipped it. Okay, that's where he's bound by dilemma. Yeah, that was a huge leap. Uh, let's see, deliver the and Samson is wearing to be able to fall upon me yourselves. So he's saying, hey, don't draw first blood against me. You are not in this. The Philistines are drawing first blood against you. You need to go and deal with the Philistines on this matter. But you notice that the Philistines are in control of the whole land of Israel. The Israelites are not in control. Notice that. And so like I, it, in the first part, we went over the very first verse, the Israelites were wicked. The Philistines run the land. The Israelites are Philistines, because the Philistines are the rulers. Uh, and they spake unto him, saying, No, we will not swear. But we will bind thee fast, and we're going to hand you over to the Philistines. We're going to betray you. Uh, we, but we will not kill thee. We will torture you. We will bind thee and hand you over as a, an extort, uh, hostage. <laughs> but we're not going to go through and actually kill you. We'll do all sorts of other crimes, but not kill you. And they bound him with two new cords and brought him forth from the rock. The rock of Gibraltar. Itam, I believe that would be the word for complete. Let's check. Where was it where it talked about Itam? The top of the rock Itam, uh, verse 8. Okay, Judges 15, 8. So let's go to the Blue Letter Bible. Oh, they're slowing this one down. Ugh. Blue Letter Bible. Judges 15, change it to Westminster Leningrad Codex, go down to verse 8, oh, it's not complete, but it does have the tem of complete, it's just the first letter, which is the determinative for Paleo-Hebrew, is the sun, not the aleph. Interesting. Oh. So sometimes Aleph is dropped from Tem. And so in that case, it would be another variation of complete having to do with the sun. As Samson, I've already gone over with his meaning, he's the sun king. And he's on top of the rock. Completion of the sun. Interesting. Okay. So that's just a little added thing for you. <coughs> that's why it's E rather than A. And A instead of U. Uh, uh, Adam and Atom are the same pronunciation. different because the D is not the same as the Tet. 
this was so bull. Uh, uh, uh. We're nearing the end here because we're at past 55 minutes. Uh, let's see. Brought him from the rock. And when he came unto Lehi, remember Jawbone, the Philistines shouted against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And the cords that were upon his arms became as flax that was burnt with fire, and his bands loosed from off his hands. And he found in Lehi a new jawbone, Lehi, of an ass. Jawbone, remember Baalim? Balaam, as you heard it pronounced. Uh, and his ass that talked, the talking ass? Well, yes, again, prophecy of the last day's Christ. We are now having another comparable story of prophecy crossovers. But this is a dead ass. And takes the jawbone, put it in his hand, and slew a thousand men. Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jaw of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking, jawbone, Lehi, speaking, with his words he does slay, the word of God is mightier than the sword, ever hear that? Pen is mightier than the sword. And then you have Lehi in Jerusalem with the puppet king Zedekiah. And he's saying, hey guys, Jerusalem is, Babylon's coming back to destroy Jerusalem. Yes, all part and parcel in the same context. And so, therefore, he called the place Ramath Lehi. Uh, should have stayed with Blue Bible uh, 1517 so maybe a Mormon is working now and so he's holding it back to the letter of the Bible and Judges 15 that was verse 17 right change it to Westminster Leningrad Ramoth, yeah. Ramoth Lehi. And it's the altar rather than the, the winnow for Lehi. Interesting. Covenant of the altar is the words. You covenant with words in also the right arm raised to the square on the altar. Cool. Uh, and then Ramoth. Interesting. Mot is death, by the way. Uh, so the R uh, is the symbol of the flag, which is the symbol for gods of God. So the god of death. And that's what he uses, the jawbone of the ass. Interesting. So that's a little Paleo-Hebrew for you, if you were able to catch on. Uh, we're already about to pass one minute, so I won't go into more detail than that. Uh, and he was sore thirst, and called on the God, uh, deliverance in the hand of thy servant, I f die for thirst. Again, die is being spoken of again and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised. Um, God clave and hollow place and there that was in the jaw and there came water thou out of. And when he had drunk his spirit came again and he revived 
Wherefore he called the name thereof En Hakore, which is in Lehi unto this day, when the author was writing it millennia or so later. Um, but no, he was making up a story for prophecy, but saying that it was there and trying to explain why it's there as a prophecy for the context. And I've already gone over that with you. And he judged Israel in the days of the Philistines 20 years. But the story's not over. Uh, that should be the end of the story, technically, because he wins the battle. That is what Horus does to take back the throne that was usurped by his uncle who murdered his father. Uh, Osiris set Horus. That trilogy there. And, uh, and so that's why there's a battle scene here in Samson. is because there's going to be a battle event in the latter days with the Christ. And so to take back the religion, it would be a battle with the church. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be 3,000 foxes. Um, that's just the symbolism that's being used for the parable of prophecy. And so, uh, next we get into Gaza, and Delilah, and Bruce R. McConkie's building, which is the temple. That's the whole purpose for destroying the Philistines in the battle, is to conquer and destroy the temple, which is a symbol of the church. And then, like Jesus said, uh, this temple that you see before you, there will not be a brick remaining, and in three days I will raise it up. And that's what they got him for, uh, was for treason and being a terrorist, <laughs> saying that the temple would be destroyed. And, uh, Thus he died, failed to fulfill prophecy, and uh, so on and so forth. So there you go. Part 4.